in this problem, uh, we want to talk about uh, the concept of factor of safety and use that to find uh, the minimum diameter needed for the pin at A. So you have this frame subjected to one load, a 600 pound load, and um, we know uh, the, the strength of the, uh, the pin at A. So what's given? Um, given that the allowable, uh, I'm sorry, the yield shear stress for the pin at A, based on the material that is made of, is 15 KSI. Remember, KSI means kilo PSI, so this is 15,000 PSI. And uh, we are uh, told that we want to use a factor of safety of, so FS stands for factor of safety of 1.5. And based on this factor of safety and the strength of this pin at A, uh, we want to find the minimum diameter of the pin at A, diameter at A. So here I have shown you actually how pin at A, the, the top view of this is going to look like here. So this is actually called, this is an example of a double shear. In other words, the way this pin is holding this frame at A makes the, um, the situation, the pin to be in double shear. So we'll see how that double shear comes into play. Okay, so what we need, first of all, the, uh, the definition of factor of safety is, factor of safety is defined as the failure stress divided by allowable stress. So failure stress here is denoted by the yield and allowable stress is the shear stress that you want to allow to be existing in pin A. You don't want to your stress to be larger than that. Basically, that's your maximum shear stress. So if your factor of safety is 1.5 and your yield is, so the yield is 15 KSI here, and the factor of safety is 1.5 here, so you could clearly see if you rearrange this equation, your allowable shear stress then has to be 10 KSI. So basically, you're reducing your, your allowable shear stress. Uh, so now we are saying that the allowable shear stress in pin A, or the maximum shear stress in pay, pin A, cannot be more than 10 KSI. So now, what we want to do, since the definition of the shear stress is tau is equal to V shear load divided by what we call the shear area. If we could calculate the shear area A sub S, from the shear area we can calculate the diameter. We already know our maximum shear stress in the pin based on the factor of safety of 1.5 should be 10 KSI. The question is, what is the shear load? So we need to determine what this shear load is. That shear load is going to be determined based on the load that is actually acting at pin A based on that 600 pound load that is applied to the frame. So what we need to do is you know, really, this part is statics, so we have to go and figure out what reactions are developed at pin A. So why don't we do that? Let's draw a free body diagram. So we know at pin A we have a reaction in the x direction, AX, and a reaction in the y direction, AY. And then also, let me just erase this, also this is rocker at B, and the rocker at B basically or roller at B will give you a reaction B sub X in this case. Remember that reaction has to be perpendicular to uh, the, the, the surface. So here if you take moment, so actually by inspection you could see that some of the forces in Y equal to zero AY, the AY here should be equal to the 600 pound. So AY equals 600 pound. And if you go ahead and take moment about say B and set it equal to zero, uh, you'll see that obviously BX doesn't have any moment. AY is lined up, 
so it's going through B so only AX has moment so AX times 3 let's say if clockwise is positive and then you have 600 times also uh, 4 both of them actually going positive uh, clockwise equal to 0 so let me go to the next page if you, you see 2400 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 800 actually AX com comes out to be equal to negative 800 but the negative just means the direction has to be to the left and this is not really important in you know calculating the shear load so look AY a minute ago I showed you is 600 pound and AX is 800 pounds so the question is what do we do with these two now or do I use AX and AY AX or just AY no we have to go ahead and find the resultant pin reaction at A so I call it F sub A and that would be square root of 800 squared plus 600 squared which conveniently becomes 1000 pound now a minute ago I showed you the pin at A so this is the pin at A and let's say if this is the shear load that is acting on it I'm sorry the uh, the resultant pin reaction F sub A that is acting on it and this is in double shear so you would have a shear load here and a shear load here therefore 2V is equal to 1000 pound therefore V becomes 500 pound so now we are ready to go ahead and calculate our area remember a minute ago in the last page you see here we had tau equal V over A right so now we say tau equal V over A we go ahead and solve for the uh, this shear area so that would be V divided by tau allowable so that is 500 pound divided by 10 KSI, 10 KSI is 10,000 um, PSI, so this is pound, this is pound per inch squared. So area should be 0 0.05 inches squared, that's the minimum area. And remember, area is pi over 4 diameter squared, therefore you can go ahead and solve for the diameter by just doing a quick rearrangement of your equation. So a square root of 4 times 0 0.05 divided by pi and that diameter comes out to be about 0.252 inch so the minimum diameter for this pin at A should be 0.252 inches at minimum so you can have larger